this is my um, uh, overwintered salad. Uh, some of it's been eaten by slugs, which is really annoying. They started this month, and uh, um, but uh, they've been overwintering since um, uh, sort of September last year. Uh, I'm still not getting it right, but you can with a bit of plastic um, overwinter and you know, do a bit of gardening. Um, overwinter in, in your back garden and this is an example uh, so we've got some lettuce chervil chervil's the best um, uh, it just it's verdant all, all the time no matter how cold it is um, carrots are done quite well under under plastic as well but uh, uh, the parsley is doing well and lettuce okay it needs protection but um, it's coriander that we really want and that's um that's the hardest hardest to grow in the winter i think uh this is uh this is coriander which has just been under um this um sort of plastic um cloche um covers um which is better it seems to work better it's much more um green and big than under under plastic it might be a light thing Plus I fertilised this bed a bit better than the other one as well, so um, that might be it as well. Hi right, folks, uh, the, uh, we're in the, uh, well, it's um, very hot. Um, uh, in here, it, it, when I opened up the greenhouse, it was 30 degrees this morning, and uh, it's, it's about 17 degrees outside. Uh, it's, uh, I, I don't think we should get too overexcited, I don't think it's spring just yet, but... Um, um, things are moving along um, with the seedlings, um, so uh, I've uh, the both the broccoli and the um, broad beans I sowed last time. They're both um, they're both up. Um, uh, I've potted on the um, uh, broccoli, uh, the um, Kai bro Kali broccoli, Kali whatever it's called, and um, I'm I'm going to take the um, Beans down to the allotment, Sutton they were, um, uh, put them out, they should be hard enough to take it. Um, other than that, we, um, I've been uh, messing around with, with the onions indoors and various other bits and bobs. Um, I've been taking cuttings from white clover um, for my green manures um, and uh, sowing in a bit of lettuce and so on. Um, also messing around with um, my overwintered salad greens um, in the back garden. Uh, so those are the things I've been getting on with. So um, uh, today I've, um, well last night I sowed some carrots, um, not carrots, lettuce. Um, today I'm going to sow some special uh, Monge 2 peas. Um, and these both have a purple flower um, and they're both very productive uh, and they're both really tasty. So they, they hit the um, decorative and uh, decorative and um, tasty um, uh, requirement. Uh, sometimes you get decorative vegetables that, that aren't very tasty. Well I saved some uh, some some peas from last year. The, the two the Monge 2 varieties that um, I'm going to do today, one of which is Save Seed which is uh, Karubi de Massan. Sorry, apologise to my French friends for that awful, um, awful pronunciation, and which I save seed from. Uh, it has a large green pods, purple flower. It grows to about six feet. Uh, it's very decorative uh, with a bit of protection. It can be early. Uh, golden sweet produces. Uh, the leaves are more yellow. The pods are yellow, bright yellow. Um, very tasty. When you let the peas grow a little bit bigger. Um, inside so it becomes more like um, an eatall, um, oh, I can't remember what you call them, uh, the sweet pods or whatever they're called. They're, that's really nice in a, in a stew whatever uh, and again it has uh, purple flowers and grows to six feet tall so they're both really really good uh, really attractive peas and productive uh, but you need to succession sow them. Um, I've grown them for the last two years and both times had a lovely crop in June and then wallop they just gone the whole plant turns brown and that's it so I would succession, succession sow them if you want to look at them for more uh, and eat them for more than you know two or three weeks anyway uh, let's go on with it uh, 
Uh, this is the um, uh, Caribbean de Massan, which I saved from last year. Very, very dry, saved in an envelope. And this is um, uh, Golden Sweet. There's only 75 seeds in there, which is uh, not a massive amount. There's a <coughs> there's a twenty odd there. It it doesn't um, it looks like it, it, they may have crossed. So I did have um, the um, golden sweet is very often uh, I don't know if you can get that. yeah very often quite a dark pea, uh, and uh, I I'm pretty sure that the the Caribou de Massan is quite a, a light pea. So we do seem to have some uh, a cross, which is. That's nature for you. So, um, so uh, who cares? Let's uh, let's sow them anyway. It'll be make it much more interesting when we actually get to see um, uh, see them uh, growing. Uh, see what see you know when we actually harvest. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to put two in each cell. I've watered it already. Save um, washing the peas all over the place. And, uh, and I'll show you in a couple of weeks what it looks like. Uh, so I've uh, put some, uh, just a handful of um, uh, earth, earth over the top and uh, given it a little sprinkle. And uh, so that's that. Uh, a few other things I can show you while we're here. You've seen the... Um, the uh, broad beans. Uh, these are uh, the giant onions that I sowed. In, I think it was like the third of January, or whatever. They've been indoors under lights, and now I'm out here to get some to get some proper light. Um, it's, I think it's warm enough now. The reason they're out here is because these are my overwintered onions, which I which are doing very very well. They've shot up in the last week and a half, and uh, we've had more light. I think once you get to 10 hours daylight, everything shoots off. So these <coughs> these are Elsa Craigs. They're not going to be giants. I'm not going to win the, the allotment competition for onions with these. But they'll be nice. Um, they'll be a nice and early crop. So I sowed these in August. Elsa Craig. They've overwintered in here. Most of the time they're about this size over here. Uh, they're now this size the last couple of weeks, they're shot up, and these over here are self-sown, um, self-saved seed, uh, it's Welsh, my own Welsh onion. Uh, it didn't didn't look very pretty um, last week, but again it's shot up. So it liked a bit of, uh, like, like as, as like the extra light that we've had. Over here we've got um, uh, a tarragon, French tarragon, and uh, that's come up nicely. And obviously we've got the tatsoi in, um, yeah, the tatsoi over there. That's getting eaten by slugs. I'm having to do a slug patrol. But this, these are going to be pretty. Um, I look forward to this every year. This is the first, the, f the first colour that we get, which is these buds on this uh, nectarine. I have it in here. I will uh, to protect the the. Um, Protect them from uh, frost. Uh, Molly coddle them a bit, and I'll hand pollinate them with a brush. And this year, I'm going to look after it properly because um, nectarines are very sweet. Uh, they'll go on the, about Mayish. They'll go. It'll go out onto the uh, patio. But I've got to protect it from snails because they do like nectarine and they love nectarines. Um, okay. Well, that's the uh, that's the greenhouse. Now we're down the, uh, well I'm down the allotment now, um, uh, going to, um, still a nice day, the sun's going to be going down and uh, it's quite cold in the shade so uh, 
the uh, temperature is going to plummet. But um, anyway, we're going to do uh, plant those those broad beans, the Sutton, which is a dwarf variety, hardy variety, so, and then um, pop it in the ground. going to do is it's going to be no dig so we're just going to part the, the mulch aside and pop the module nice looking uh, nice looking plants there pop it in there just like that and then uh, rearrange the mulch around it six inches apart 12 inches in the row Uh, well, that's it then, folks. Um, uh, I just got a sweat on from uh, from mowing the uh, well, not the lawn, the uh, grass paths. Uh, I've I've created a, a bucket uh, buckets worth of um, grass mulch to go on the uh, broad beans, which will which will help to feed them. Uh, so so that's it. It's, the sun's going down. Uh, it's definitely getting lighter and lighter. We're heading for spring, and uh, I'll uh, see you on the next one. Uh, Till now.